How to create a news website in WordPress 2023 full tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you're going to create a news website using WordPress. So basically, let's just get started. Now, before we get started, please do make sure to like this video and watch it till the end so you can have the full experience of how we're going to be making a news website. So first of all, I will need you to launch up your browsers and open up your dashboards on WordPress. Now, once you do that, then we have to choose the correct appearance for our, you know, news website. So to go with the correct appearance, you're going to click on appearance over here. And what it's going to do is it's going to open up this section, which is basically your theme section. So from here on out, you're going to go ahead and choose one of the three templates that you can find on WordPress for, you know, your news things. So you can either write news over here. Okay. And once you write news, basically, you can see that you can get a lot of popular templates, you know, so in these popular templates, you can see a lot of them that have actual news in them, for example, so let's say you have news in this one. And this one looks pretty good for a news template. Okay. And uh, there's a whole lot of other themes as well that you can go with. I personally like this WordPress theme. It is one of the most famous WordPress themes out there as well. It's called Astra. Okay. And it's a community built theme. And uh, obviously it's totally free if you have the business WordPress plans and it's going to set you for life. And there's also different ones like uh, as Charlie's light and all that. Now, the reason I like these ones is because of the functionings and because of the different types of art and stuff that it gives you. So pretty incredible. Now, you know, you could either go with this, but you know, removing this from our thought process, we're just going to go ahead and write news for now. And once you write news, you get different types of blogs and news pages. Okay. So look at this, this one's called newsmatic. Okay. And this newsmatic page looks a lot like a basic news article. To be honest, it really resembles the Yahoo news page, doesn't it? So you can see that this is really good stuff. And I would pretty much want to go with this. Now, as you can see, this theme is available for download to be used on your WordPress self hosted installation. So you can just go ahead and download this pretty easily. And as you can see, it opens up Newsmatic as so. So once Newsmatic is downloaded, you can obviously go ahead and add it onto your WordPress. And I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. But before that, you're going to go over to the demo site to see what this actually has to offer. So as you can see, this is the demo site and look at this, you know, it looks like a proper news website with great articles and great news channels and it's really great stuff. So I would a hundred percent recommend you to go with this, but yeah, enough of that. Let's actually talk about how you're going to import this. Okay. So to import this, you're going to go back to your themes over here. Once you're over here, you're going to click on install new theme. And once you click on install new theme, basically we're going to go ahead to the theme that we just downloaded. So I'm going to go in my downloads, go here on newsmatic. Once you go here, you're going to extract the file. Once you extract the file, you're going to open up the newsmatic thing. And once you do that, as you can see, this is going to be your basic, uh, you know, filings for your work. So to, you know, drop the theme, obviously you're going to want to make sure to upgrade to the business plan because without the business plan, we will not be able to import any theme from our own side. So please do make sure to have this one important detail. Okay. And once you have that, you're just going to go ahead and add the demo processing over here. You're going to add the theme add the zip file. Okay. Don't add the unzipped file. I only unzipped the file to show you what it looks like from the inside with the stylings and HTML codes and everything, but do not upload the unzipped file, upload the zipped file. And once you do that, obviously the appearance is going to change and it's going to change for the better. It's going to change into a proper news theme. Now, once you've added your appearance, and once you played around with the themes, what we're going to do from there is we're going to switch over to the editor. Now you're probably wondering what will the editor do now? The editor is basically going to be helping us with the styling and the, uh, you know, formatting of our page. Now, what do I mean by styling and formatting styling of the page is basically your color schemes and all. Okay. So let's say there's this color scheme over here. Now you're going to go ahead. You're going to go into styles. Once you go into styles, you have all these color themes that you can choose from. So look at that. You can change your color themes to whatever you want. Let's say I want to go with a dark theme. Okay. So to go with a dark theme, we're just going to switch to that, but 
normally a news page just has a very vibrant light theme. So I'm just going to go with the default one because this looks good. And once you choose your theme, uh, there's navigation. Now, what is navigation? Navigation basically is the small navigation menus that you can see on top. Now, currently I only have home, but you can add more over here by just clicking on this editing section. And once you do that, you can add more by clicking on the plus icon. So in uh, home, you can add, you know, different things like uh, latest news, you know, latest news about anything that you can add over here. And uh, then you can obviously lead to social links. You can add your page links and uh, a whole lot of other things. So, you know, that is how you're going to work with the navigations. Now, moving on, that's obviously talking about navigations. If we go ahead back over here, you have more things as well. So there's different pages. And that is also something I'm going to show you real quick on how you're going to do. So we're going to go ahead back to our dashboard to talk about the work process of, you know, making these different pages and all. So to create different pages, you're going to go over to pages over here. And here you're going to get certain things. So, you know, add new page, you're going to use add new page to basically, you know, as it says, add a new page. So you're going to click on add new page. And once you click on add new page, you're going to be, you know, specifying and you're going to be adding a name with a description, telling people what this page is actually about and what this page will actually do for the community or what it will do for you, et cetera, et cetera. So you get the point on all of that. Now, just go ahead to skim through these different types of themes of pages, you could say, or different types of structures of pages. And uh, let's say I want to go with, um, let's go with this, or let's go with this. I like this structure with the different widgets, ups and downs. You know, I like that. So once you do this, you're going to keep a page name. So let's say I'm going to call this latest news. And down here, you can start adding news about people. So let's say, um, you know, someone passed away, you can add information about them. So uh, you can write, it saddens us to tell you the heartbreaking fact that, you know, whatever the person's name is, Miguel Angel has peacefully, you know, passed. And uh, you can just add different story widgets like that with different images and all. And once you do that, you're finally going to click on publish and you're going to make sure that the page publishing is according to what you want, which I mean, uh, either public or private. So just go with the proper publishing methods, go with the proper page methods. And as you can see, we just created a new page and let me show you how the page is going to look on paper. So down here, you can see home. Now you have latest news and then you can add more things and then you can link the navigation menu from the latest news that we picked in the editor to this page over here. And that obviously gives you a hyperlink to easily access through your website header. Okay. Now moving on becomes the posts. Okay. Because a post is the most important part of your news page because you know, if there is no posts, then there is no news. And if there is no news, then there is no use for a news uh, blog or a news website. So just go ahead and add different posts with different types of news that you want to go with. And uh, do make sure to add the most detailed and descriptive types of news. And if you want proper wording of these news, you can use stuff like uh, things like Grammarly or maybe even chat GPT to write you up a proper, you know, top up or a proper structural news widget. Because in the end, it will help you become a better news journalist or a news website that you want to go with. So, you know, basic, just add title over here. So let's say, uh, you know, Manny Pacquiao versus Floyd Mayweather canceled. Uh, and then you start explaining why it got canceled or how it got canceled, etc. So, you know, big news in big times. So really great, really easy and really incredible stuff in making a news website on WordPress. So, yeah. The three main steps are changing your appearance, which I showed you, making pages, which I showed you, and making posts, which I showed you. Then obviously it just moves on to the editor and you can also use different editors like uh, Elementor that you can choose from the plugin section. But obviously that's a paid uh, add-on that you can pay for if you want to, but that's totally upon you.
But yeah, that's pretty much about it for this video. Now, if you enjoyed watching, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. Till then, that's all from me. Thank you for watching till the end and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.